sometimes rather than modeling the details of an object, we just want to model its effects, like the mass that's there. So in the case of this beam, uh, one of the ways to do that is we can actually come in in the geometry and right click, insert a point mass or a distributed mass. So if we add a point mass, we can um, select a point, so either vertex or a node. And here we'll select the right end of this beam, apply, and then you can see I can just give that a value, uh, 0.25 pounds, and we, and that would obviously change the frequencies. So let's go ahead and uh, solve my static structure. And then uh, let's solve uh, this modal analysis. You can see how quick that runs. Um, and you can see that that frequency just dropped from 1.75 to 0 0.79 hertz uh, due to that added weight from the, uh, uh, the mass that we stuck at the end of the, of the object. Um, And that's the that also includes the weight of the of the bar, obviously. So if we come over here, we add that in. There's actually, if we use some closed form solutions, um, we see that that would have predicted about 0.805. This came out to 0 0.7907. And this is compared. This is the workbench solution, and this is compared with the ANSYS. And I haven't checked. There may be a little discrepancy because of a slight difference uh, value in the density being used uh, for this beam. I haven't uh, double checked that. But you can see that, uh, that the results are, are quite close to what would be predicted by hand.